Hey everybody, David Geary here. Welcome back. It is Thursday. You know what that means? That's right. It's time for hashtag training Thursday. How are you? Welcome. Um, well, we're going to continue our time management series and today I'm going to talk about the to-do list. Yes, the dreaded to-do list. Now, don't, it's not, it's not dreaded anymore. You control it. It doesn't control you. You run the list. It's that simple. See, what is a to-do list? Well, Plain and simple, a to-do list is a list of things that you want to complete within a certain time period. Now, these things are important, they're urgent, but uh, they're things that really don't need to go on a calendar, but they have to get done. Now, these things can also be things that you're, you're contributing as, as part of a group or a, uh, an activity. So something to think about there because, again, it is a list that is important. It is urgent. Otherwise, why have a to-do list? But um, most people have one or two, or they use both. They either use a private to-do list or a professional to-do list. Strictly up to them, it's their flavor. But some people have two, and some people have one with everything all mixed in. Ouch. But again, don't, don't, don't let that discourage you, because again, it should not be a problem. It should not be a burden. Actually, it should be something as a very useful, resourceful tool to kind of help get things done. Now, when it comes to using a to-do list, there are a couple of rules everybody should follow. And some of them mimic the calendar scheduling rules that we talked about last time. Um, for one, make sure that you use your to-do list all the time. Don't, don't pick and choose. Make sure you're using it all the time. And especially when something pops up, put it on your to-do list. You remember something, put it on your to-do list. Somebody reminds you, put it on your to-do list. It is that important. Now, some people will say, oh, well, like, you know, the night before is the best time to fill in a to-do list. I say it's not. Because what if you forget something and then you're caught behind, well, you're behind the eight ball and then what are you going to do? So that's why it is important to put it in as soon as you remember, as soon as you're told, as soon as something pops up, some, something lets you know that, hey, it's time to put this onto the to-do list. Use it for everything. Remember. No size too small, no size too big. Use it for everything. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's uh, mowing the yard, put it on there. Mow the yard. So write off that letter, put it in there. Update your resume, put it in there. It's important. It's urgent. It's critical. It's important to you. Put it on that list. Again, it doesn't matter what it is. Anything and everything, put it on that list. Now, when you're doing that, it also doesn't hurt to provide some details. And again, just like your calendar or schedule entries that I talked about last week, the more details, the better. And providing more details, well, it kind of lets you, well, you're more apt to completing your to-do list. And by the same token, you're more apt to put more stuff and to use that to-do list again and again and again. And that's how you master your to-do list. Now, once everything's on your to-do list, get it done. Get it done. But don't wait until you fill up a list. Don't wait until you have 10 items or 20 items. No. Start working on those items now. Today. If you, all you have on there is two, work on them. I guarantee you tomorrow there will be another two. And so on and so on and so on. And your list might always live on twos. It's a great idea. But uh, make sure you're constantly entering. Because, again, things happen. You, know, you, you mow the yard today, two weeks from now, it's time to mow again. If you're in one of those parts of the country where it rains and the rain comes in and it, the grass grows when it rains, so get it done. Get it done. Now, if you have to postpone, well, that's okay. Postpone. Make it. Just postpone it. it it's, I don't know why. I don't know what. It doesn't matter. The reasoning, the reason it doesn't matter. is If you've got to postpone, postpone it. You can do it. It's okay. Now, once you've postponed it, that's okay. But make sure that it gets back onto the list. Make sure it does not just fly away off into the ether, never to be heard from again. Put it back onto your to-do list. That's the only way it's going to get done again. And then, you know, you'll be ready for it. But uh, make sure it gets on the list and then work on it to get it done. So, it kind of let's close this up. Have a to-do list. Use it all the time. Stay organized with it. Feed it information. It'll give you back information. You do not have to become a slave to your to-do list. And if you do it right, feeding that information and using it all the time, it becomes your servant 
not the other way around. Listen, folks, my name is David Guerra. I thank you for stopping by. I thank you for watching the hashtag Training Thursday. Uh, be sure to leave me some feedback, some comment down here below on, on the uh, comment section. And if you're watching on a website, then go ahead and click on the YouTube button and it'll take you to the YouTube site and leave comments there. I'd love to hear from you. Or you can uh, let me know on Twitter at Dave Guerra, at D-A-V-E-G-U-E-R-R-A. -E -R -R -A, or uh, drop me an email, DavidDaveGuerra.com. Either way, I will see you next Wednesday with the Leadership Minute. And then next Thursday, another hashtag Training Thursday. So in between now and then, have a good week. I'll see you online. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you real soon. Take care, and thank you for your time.